Hi, it's Brenda Nolan here, and today is day 22. Uh, so far, I have lost three pounds since last week, and that's what I wanted to talk about. I started at 186, I gained a pound, then I gained a pound, and now I've lost three pounds. Why do I think I've lost three pounds in a week? Well, it could be a number of things, and that's why I don't measure or weigh myself more than once a week because daily fluctuations, and it doesn't matter whether you're a man, a woman, young, old, whatever, you're going to fluctuate from day to day, depending on how much water you drank, did you drink more today than yesterday? Uh, did you eat a dinner, a heavy dinner last night that had a lot of meat and it still hasn't digested? Because did you know that it is absolutely normal for someone to not have a bowel movement for anywhere from two to four days? Yes, I I'm a geek. I looked that up after I had to oh, barium swallow for a CAT scan, I think it was. And the barium didn't like me. And so I got paranoid and looked it up. So there's that. There's if you're a female, is it, are you ovulating? Is it your time of the month? If you're pre-menopausal, like I am. Is your monthly lasting a month? It, it doesn't, it can be anything. You didn't, you got a, one less hour of sleep last night and you could be up two pounds. It just, the daily, when I first started this whole thing, I was weighing myself every morning made sure I didn't even brush my teeth because who knows, I might get some water in me and weigh even more. And I got absolutely obsessed. And it was so depressing when I did everything perfect the day before, even worked out more or got more cardio in or whatever. And I was up a pound or up two pounds. I just, my brain can't take the constant roller coaster that the scale can do. So that's why I weigh, I used to weigh every Friday because that was what this one little group of us did. It was Friday weigh-ins and uh, then this, since I started this challenge, I, my first my day, my official day one was a Sunday, so that's when I did it, and I'm trying to stick to that, and that's why on the Facebook group, uh, weigh in Wednesdays, I don't weigh myself. I don't need to see the fluctuations in the scale over the course of the week because I'm going to be sore. I'm going to be really sore most of the time. It's eased up since that first week of, oh my God, I just, I'm going to die. But like today I'm sitting here on the floor and I'm going to have fun trying to get back up. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to do a quick, why I don't weigh myself every day video. I don't measure myself every day. Measuring, I'm thinking about doing a separate video on that and not having it be within the My Transformation folder, um, like a log, because um, there's a lot of people, there are a lot of people that have contacted me and said, you know, they don't, they don't measure themselves because they're not sure how to do it, where to do it. They don't remember exactly the position that the 
that the tape measure was in the last time, so they just don't do it. And I'm telling you, they're, okay. So, I started, that first week I gained a pound. Second week I gained a pound. That first week, I lost an inch off my hips. The second week, I lost an inch off what I eloquently call my upper belly roll, my bulge. I lost an inch off of that, but yet I gained another pound. So that's why I the scale, it, it, it's there, but I have a fancy scale, and that's why I like my, the, my new scale, because it may not be accurate with body fat percentage and the amount of muscle that I'm carrying and, and how much water I have in my body, but I have a baseline. I got that when May, something like that. So I have something to reference. I can see if my body's changing for the better or for the worse or whatever. So that's the thing when it comes to weighing and measuring and all of that. It's not absolutely written in stone that this is how much you weigh because you could get you could take a nap and lose two pounds I've done that before it's just uh, it's a guideline it's more of a guideline for you even if you have a trainer or a coach who wants to, who has the, you know, daily weigh-ins and measurements and all of that, it's most important for you so that you can see how you are doing really and keep track of it over time. Because I didn't realize until I went to, I was looking through my measurements that I've been measuring and weighing myself since January of 2010. I've lost a lot of inches since then. Not a lot of weight. Really not a lot of weight. But anyway, so day 22 is in the books. I'm done. I have to get busy. Almost time for my husband to come home and I have to actually do stuff like dishes. So, I hope you're having a good Monday.